Hey everyone, so tonight we're doing a review on the Marvel Legends MODOK. It's got a cool looking box. It's got a cool image of MODOK in his lab. And on the top here has a neat little logo of him with his squished up face. It's got a cool image of MODOK using his ray on the back, along with the back of the figure. Kind of gives a brief little bio, shows the interchangeable faces, the base, and his hand, and his little control. How it rotates. Very cool. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get this guy opened up and we'll check out the details. And before I assemble them, I just want to show you, show you guys, this is what you'll get in the box. You just gotta take that off. He got his face and he's holding himself there. And he's got, this, looks like his little booster there. His interchangeable hands, another part of the base. Little legs are in there at the main part of the blast and you get his hair on the top. But anyway, I'm gonna put this guy together off camera. There's no reason to really assemble him right here unless you, eh, yeah. You know what? I thought, screw it. I will build them on camera. If I struggle, you guys can always just get tired. If you get tired of watching me put this guy together, you can always fast forward. But anyway, we'll go ahead and start with the legs, the little short legs here. Go ahead and plug them in. All right, I guess it's in. Goofy little legs. And yeah, so the, the interchangeable head is in there. Not sure which one I may use. This reminds me the most of the Toy Biz one, so I'm not sure which one. All right, that leg's in, and there we go. Looks like that just slides in like that. You got the big, what they call it, the big Mr. Potato Head top. I guess, I guess I'll do this hair first. Did not sit right, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Huh, it doesn't sit very flush to me. Must be doing something wrong here. There we go. Just setting it too far back. There we go. This little face in there. Oh, yeah, I face it this way. Which way does his face go? I think it was this way. I'll figure it out in a second when we get this guy together. <laughs> well, that would have helped, huh? Okay. There we go. Just goes on the side. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Getting there done. Just kind of plugs in like that. There we have Modoc. Very cool. Oh, he does have a little piece of paper underneath there. There we go. <laughs> All right, very cool. Definitely going to get rid of these open hands. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. I guess we could have them waving at you, but I kept the, I swapped out the gripping hand. But very cool. Mine does have a little, well, I guess that's just a dimple. Look like there's a little scuff on that cheek right there. But I think this guy looks great, actually. Really well done by Hasbro. Um, he feels sturdy. I don't. I feel like the seams. It's a little gappage on this side, but maybe because I have that head in there, the other face. So maybe if I pull that out, let's just try this out and just to see if that's causing the problem. Yeah, it was. I'll probably leave the face out of there. There's no reason for me to keep them. Uh, keep the interchangeable face inside there but it's cool that you can do that but nice the seam looks really good i think that turned out very nice Let's see on this side same thing with the face Just slide that out yeah i'm kind of playing with them sorry <laughs> so if you want to fast forward definitely fast forward but anyway very cool i just like how this guy is really cool I did plan on putting them in a haul video, but I just really wanted to open them, so I decided to just do the review first. But I got him on the 16th. I got him at Target. Um, I ended up having some Target points, so I got him a little less than what he was retail. But man, I really like him. I like this top piece here. It's got the lighter pink, and it has like looks almost translucent. By the way, that plastic's got a good gloss to it. But I'll go ahead and bring him up close. All right, now checking out Modoc up close and personal. You can see his nice white teeth. He's got great wrinkles. I think this looks really cool. Good flesh tone, just the white eyes. You can see his pink tongue in there. You can see the flesh tone of his lips. 
as you can see, I think this looks really cool. Otherwise, it's just purple plastic and get the same kind of pink on the front here. I think the top of his head looks awesome. Got his nice hair. You got some light brown streaks in there with the dark brown. Gives it some good detail. And on the back here, just continues with the gold. The, the has a little bit of a darker gold on the inseam here. All this little sculpt has also that same dark gold going through. You see a little bit of the marbleization of the plastic, but it's not too bad. I think that looks really cool. And then coming down here, you can see more of that darker gold is kind of going along, but it's not bleeding over into the, you know, go, you know, gold plastic here. It looks really good. Anything on the front, I think the little green lines look really good. They're not, uh, you know, sloppy done. You know, they're not bleeding out or anything like that. They're pretty straightforward, straight, clean lines. He's got the gold inserts here and a little red with the black. Looks good. Continues with the gold. His little joystick looks cool. It's got the little red trigger and red button on top. This is on a ball joint, which is nice. It can rock all around. The base is just done in that darker gold. You can see some of the marbleization on there too. And then it's got the light pink translucent you know fire coming out onto the goes into red kind of a reddish orange that looks really cool i really like how this uh, base turned out i like that it's on ball joint too you can kind of not too much rocking but a little bit and this rotates obviously it's got a little little motion not a lot very cool i don't know this is a sweet modok I am curious to see him up close with the old Toy Biz one. Let me straighten him out a little bit, but I think that looks really cool. And then we'll go ahead and check out the the other face. I'm just gonna be pinching him on the sides. I don't really have to, I don't want to use my thumbnail and then scuff him up. But here's his other face. Again, it looks really cool. I do think mine has a little dirt kind of blemish on his cheek there. I think this looks really cool. I like it. Very cool looking Modoc. And his other interchangeable hand is just, you know, the open hand palm, and then a fisted hand. So good and gore the articulation. Clearly there's none up top. Ah, there we go. But he does have rotation in the upper arms along with the single joint in the elbow, which goes up about 90 degrees. He does have rotation in the elbow. He does have rotation in the wrist, also a hinge at the wrist. He's got rotation in the upper leg here. He's got double jointed knees. He does have ankle joint here and he does have the ankle rockers. And of course, no peg holes to bomb his feet. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> anyway, we'll go ahead and show you guys how tall Modoc is. All right, so Modoc stands a little over eight inches tall. And then here he is next to some aim soldiers. All right, so we got the first original AIM soldiers, and then we have the two-pack AIM soldiers, and then we'll add in the uh, Has Hasbro Pulse exclusive AIM soldier. There you go, with the black visor. Anyways, we'll take these guys down. I'll show you guys him next to the Toy Biz Modoc. All right, so here we are with the Hasbro Modoc next to the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure Modoc. It actually looks really cool, um, kind of getting these guys next to each other to kind of see the size difference. And of course here, you know, he is smaller, yes, but he was a Build-A-Figure, so you can, as you collect, this is a pretty good sized Build-A-Figure with a ton of detail, considering this was a whole separate purchase. About the same price of a typical Build-A-Figure, I guess, around 50 bucks. Um, I know on eBay, Build-A-Figures are a little more expensive, but in the Facebook groups, uh, Build-A-Figures tend to be around in the 50s, depending on the character, obviously. But... It is cool seeing these guys side by side. You can see that just the difference between them. But I'll go ahead and pop his face out and show you guys kind of the similarities of the more inner, of the other face. Right, here we go with them next to each other. I do tend to like the base more on the Toy Biz one. I feel like it's really cool. It is translucent, so you can kind of see it. The lighting it does kind of glow. And I feel like there's a lot more uh, paint detailing. Same thing with on the you know Modoc shell itself. Um, there's a lot more detail they are definitely different sculpts completely they're not matching toy biz is one with the hasbro one you can see just the whole outside shell looks different so it is cool that they are different so it doesn't feel like you just got a redone or you know a duplicate of the old one and so you can just see the whole front of the difference there's no little green lines and everything right there but 
for like his headband here. <laughs> definitely more of like a rubber, but it has a little more detail. Same thing with the, definitely there's a lot more of the pinkish look on the face. You can definitely see the difference here. But I do like this one. I like the size of Modoc from Hasbro. I think this is really cool. It's just a big, chunky figure. It'd be kind of interesting if, and I'm going to ramble here, if you know how they always throw in like little pieces to other characters, sometimes in those box sets, it'll be interesting if one day if they do like a, they just toss in a different facial expression, you know, into a pack one day and we get another facial expression from Modoc since it's so easy to pop out. I don't know, probably not. But wishful thinking. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of Modoc. I think it's an awesome figure. Um, definitely worth the money, especially if you see him on sale. I think he's a great figure, great little addition to the to the uh, collection. But anyway, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. Take care.